This is sorting the sheets inside of a spreadsheet. And we're gonna do it twice, once alphabetizing all of the sheets, and again, alphabetizing the sheets, but ignoring a specific dashboard sheet. So here's the spreadsheet that I have set up. And first, a little bit of terminology. This file is called a spreadsheet. A spreadsheet contains one or more sheets. Okay, this is not a sheet. These are sheets. Just want to get that out of the way as we're using the word sheets. I'm actually using that technically and specifically for what that actually is. That's down here what you could call the tabs at the bottom. Those are sheets. So I have all these sheets here at the bottom. I want to, like I said, sort them. So instead of having them all in this random order as I put them in, I want to have Ara Singh, followed by Asajj Ventress, followed by Boba Fett, followed by Black Kirstenon. That's how I want it to go. I may have screwed up the alphabetization in my head just there, but that's what I want. I want them alphabetized here at the bottom to make it easier to move through them and know where I'm going. So let's jump into extensions, app script. And while this is coming up, let me explain the method we're going to be using. First, I want to get all of the sheets. Then I want to get the name of all of those sheets, sort the array of those names, and then put the sheets themselves in order according to the sorted array. So let's call the function sort sheets. Let's be clear what we're doing. I'm going to declare a constant of spreadsheet app dot get active. That is the entire spreadsheet. Then I'm going to let, I don't want this to be a constant because we are going to modify this. Let sheets equal sh dot get sheets. Now this is going to get all of the sheets as an array, but it's not going to give me the names. To get the names, there's a very straightforward way to do it, and then there's a more scripting friendly way to do it. We're gonna do the scripting friendly way. It's essentially breaking a for loop into a single function, and that's the map function. So now I'm gonna say sheets equals so I'm going to remake the sheets thing, but I'm going to do that as sheets dot map. And it says here, a function that accepts up to three arguments, the map method calls a callback function for each element in the array. And that's what's cool about this is at each element of the array, we can tell it to do something. So I'm gonna say SS, I'm gonna use an arrow function. You don't really need to know how this works. It works. <laughs> and if you're gonna follow this method, just go ahead and do this. It will work. If you wanna read more about map, array.map, and arrow functions, you're free to. Please do. You'll learn a lot more about JavaScript, but this is what works for this function. So for each ss, do turn it into ss.getName. All right, this is essentially the same as for let i in sheets, sheets i equals sheets i dot get name. This for loop and this map function essentially do the same thing, but this, as I understand it, is better JavaScript. And it's still pretty darn readable. So we're gonna go ahead and go with this one, sheets equals sheets.map. So get the name at every sheet. Otherwise, it'll just say sheet object, sheet object, sheet object. I don't want that, I want the name. Then we're going to sort that, sheets.sort. Now, if I don't put any function in here, it just does a default sort. You can do a custom sort, but otherwise it just does it. Here it says, if omitted, the elements are sorting in ascended ASCII character order. So it'll put numbers and then letters, and that's fine. You can do a custom sort. We don't need to for this. Now, let's go ahead and throw some logs in here. And we can see that this part is working. Save it. And then let's run it. So here's how it originally is, which if we go back here is correct, IG-88, Bosk, Dangar, etc. And then it sorted it, Asajj Ventress, Ara Singh, Black Kirstenan. Hey, I did get the order right, look at that. <laughs> so we can see that it is 
getting all of the sheets, making the name of all of the sheets. And here, let me show you why we need to do this map thing. Log it ahead. There. Otherwise, all it says is there's a sheet object. There's a sheet object. Well, I don't want the object. I want the name. That's what we're sorting on. And let's clean these all up. I don't like leaving logs in. We use the logs when we need to, but then we don't need to keep them there. All right. Now we're going to go through and access and move each sheet into the correct position. So for let I in sheets sh dot set active sheet and we're going to do sheets dot sheet by name sheets I all right so this says set the active sheet as the sheet of this name right and then sh dot move active sheet plus I plus one. Okay, let's talk through this. So it's going to loop through every sheet in the sorted sheets array. Okay, so it's going to get the set active sheet get active sheet by name. And if we look back at the execution log, the first active, the first sheet is going to be Asajj Ventress. So it's going to come here and grab Asajj Ventress. And then it's going to move the Asajj Ventress sheet into position I plus one. Now the reason I need this construction, let's fix this and it'll be a little easier. Four, let I equal zero, I is less than, nope, I don't want to do that because YouTube is going to make that not work. So I'm going to avoid using, yeah, we're already going to have to because of this up here. Sheets.length. And now we can get rid of this. So the problem is when you use let I in sheets or just the let I in array type, I is not actually a number. It just tracks the index, which means that if I do I plus one at position zero, it'll be zero one at position two. It'll be 11 at position three. It'll be uh, 12. I don't want that. It'll concatenate it. I don't want to concatenate it. I need it added. So we do plus I to force it into an integer weird stuff with JavaScript. It works. But this way, we are actually declaring I as a number, the number zero. So then I don't have to add that extra iterator here. Probably more information than you needed, but useful. <laughs> so again, we're going to get all of the sheets. We're going to convert the array of sheets objects into an array of names. We're going to sort those names. Then we're going to loop through that entire array, get each sheet in order, and move that sheet to the correct position. Run. Look at that. Asajj Ventress, Ara Singh, Black Kirstenan, Boba Fett. That is exactly what we wanted. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a dashboard sheet. And in here, I'm going to put all of the names. You know, the easiest way I can get those names is right here. Now, let's just go back to this. I do not like typing things out if I can avoid it. Total, what are they called? Total completed, confirmed, and fails. All right, and for here, equals indirect. So that's my sheet. All 
All right, and let's confirm that. So this is saying Asajj Ventress is 65, 37, 28. 65, 37, 28. Ara Singh, 39, 38, 1. 39, 38, 1. Perfect. All right, so this is working great. And showing all of them. So now let's mix these up. So we can actually show it sorting again. Great. So now I have my dashboard sheet and all of these other sheets. So I want to sort everything, but I want the dashboard sheet to stay put. That's what we're trying to do here. So let's come back to our script. I'm actually going to go ahead and make a second function to do this. Sort sheets exclusive. A lot of it's going to be the same. So I can just copy all that down for these purposes. But we need to actually skip the dashboard sheet, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Now the way that we, that thing keeps coming up. The way that we remove an element from an array in JavaScript is going to be with the splice command. Let's look at that. Sheets dot splice. Start number, delete number. That's it. Great. And then you can also have it insert stuff. We don't want to do that. We just want to remove the dashboard element. So the zero base location, which just means the first thing is zero, in the array from which to start removing elements and how many we want to remove. So because the dashboard is already the first one, we're actually going to remove that before we do the sort. Otherwise, we're going to have to find it again. We don't want to do that. So let's do sheets.splice at zero, and we're going to remove one element. So let's log all of this and make sure it's actually doing what we want. So now we should see all of the names then we should see all of the names without the dashboard, and then we should see all of the names sorted. And that is what we see. Excellent. So now that I've removed that sheet, this should be a fairly simple task. We're going to carry on doing this. The same for loop, getting and moving each element, each sheet but we're actually going to do move the sheet to I plus two because let's take the first one, Ara Singh. In the original, I wanted Ara Singh to move to the beginning and the first element is element zero. So I wanted her, that sheet to move to position one, zero plus one. Now I want Ara Singh to move after dashboard, which is gonna put it as position two. Since it's the first element, it's index zero. So index zero plus two to get into the correct position. Let's do it. And let's make sure, excellent. There's the dashboard, still in the first position, then Asajj Ventress, then Ara Singh, then Black Kirstenan, exactly how we want it. So. Two methods. If you want to sort everything, it's really simple. Here's the script. Get all the sheets, get the names of all the sheets, sort that array, then get each sheet in alphabetized order and move it to its correct position. If you want to exclude some number of sheets, all you have to do, if they're already at the beginning, is splice them out of the beginning splice them out of the array, and then change the index that it's moving to based on how many positions it actually needs to move. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope this was helpful. You can connect with me by email, on my website, LinkedIn, Twitter, or the Google Product Experts forums. And please like, subscribe, all the normal stuff with videos. I'll talk to you later.